Okay, I'm gonna do Blue's top knot. I'm gonna try to record it for posterity, but I don't know if it'll work. Don't know how well you can see it. Here's my tools. Rock on. My ratty comb, of course. A brush, a little hairspray. Try to do this without too much getting in the way. Okay, so you're gonna take his hair just about a quarter an inch on the inside of his eyeball. Comb that down on each side. Don't take too much hair. Make sure it's like in a, a little half circle here. So that's about what it looks like in the front. The next step is something I have never done before. Darren taught me. Take a small section, put a little rock on, on there, not very much. And then you back comb. When you back comb, you only do that much. You don't go up into this part. Now we're going to get a second row of hair. We're going to do the same thing. A little rock on. Not very much. Again, back comb. Both sides. Again, not a whole lot, not up too far, rather. Third row, rock on. And back on. I'm using a regular metal comb, not a teasing comb, because that's what Darren used and it seemed to work pretty well. And we're going to gather all of the hair up that we've just... You see how much that already forms a bubble here? And we are going to smooth it a little. And again, I usually use a smoothing brush like this. Darren used a regular brush like this, so that's what I'm trying. You know, don't, you don't want to pick it out. So you just use very lightly your brush. I am going to use the smoothing brush a little. He did not use any type of gel. He only used hairspray. He used a hairspray called It. I don't have It. So I'm just using my Tresemme. Let me just keep smoothing. He did a lot of finger smoothing by spraying your finger with the hairspray. He also did a lot of spraying with the comb. 
spray the end of the comb with your hairspray and smooth it. Now you know this might not work the first time. I might have to go after it a second time if it doesn't work really well. So basically this is a very hard knot. And it's probably a little too high. Darren kind of holds it from the back, pinches it in right here where these two fingers are, and then puts the band in. Okay. Mine are usually crooked, so I have to pull it to the side. Oh, it doesn't look too bad. I am still going to bring it down a little bit by bringing these two strands of hair forward. And it's pretty, not real soft, so it's looking pretty good. Okay, let's find a bow to use today. You know it's Westminster Day. This is the bow he wore to win national, so I guess it might be a good luck bow. I'll try it. This is the part that I had never seen done before. So, Darren will wrap this really good. This part that's the fold over. And then he shapes it. He shapes it to how he wants it to be in the fold over. Again, he doesn't use any gel. He uses a regular brush. And then he used hairspray to shape that. He's not shaping very well today. So there again, I'm just going to shape it to how I want it. It's not going to be that big, but you can kind of see the shape. Play it a little more. Now here was his trick. Most of us just fold it over and put a rubber band there. He gathered it together. Yeah. 
this. Just kind of hold it there. That would be too big. And then you wrap a rubber band right here. And this is my bubble. This is my fold over. And then you just, what makes it easy is because this rubber band now <coughs> is in back of the top nut rubber band. It actually goes like this. I'm going to do it a little different first. I always take my rubber band, go in front of the bow, and then go it over the fold over. Sometimes I get the fold over though, which in this case is what I did. The way Darren did it, so I'm going to do it also, is he goes underneath the bow in front and then around the fold over. And all of this banding now is right where we put that rubber band at the end of the hair for the fold over. So we have a nice little fold over. I'll show you what else he does. You may or may not want to, but he ties all his dog's ears. Blue has a great head ear set. I usually don't do this, but today I am. In fact, at that national show was the first time he's ever had his ears tied. He takes a pretty big chunk of hair at the dimple not too low because you don't want the judge to see that hair hanging over but a good chunk of hair there and there don't go too close to the dimple and i have two you can see how it pulls the ears up i'm going to tie these two pieces of hair together I'm going to hold on to it because it's hard to tie as tight as you need. Then you put a rubber band the bottom of the knot so the rubber band is below the knot and wrap it four or five times and that will hold it. And actually the knot, you see the knot's already coming out, but the rubber band will hold those hairs together. And then, of course you wanna hide this rubber band, hide this knot, so you go a little bit below the knot, take some hair, get it kinda even. You're going to attach it with this hair here from the top knot. And a little more side hair right here. All this is going to lay straight back. You actually can tease this a little bit. Push them all together.
turn it up again there. Get that close to the head. If you need to pull it back, hold this part up here and pull it back. Okay, let's sit up close. So there's his top knot for Westminster. And the side, it looks pretty good. And his ears are good. So that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully that helps. Gladly take any questions. Hope Darren doesn't mind me sharing everything.